Mr. Khanduri, coming to you first. Uh, you know, the attack on external affairs minister S. Jay Shankar, you know, at a critical time, uh, you know, of course, all, all attacks are, uh, you know, are, are welcome. That's part of the democratic conversation. But to call him a failed external affairs minister at a time, you know, when the two armies are standing face to face in Ladakh, uh, why, why would you say that? Why choose this time to say something like that and seem to give China the narrative that somehow, somehow India has failed to, you know, push China back. Well, thank you for the opportunity of, uh, uh, for giving me the opportunity to speak, uh, Mr. Tharoor. I think, Tharoor, I apologize. Um, I think the main question here is, first of all, I would question uh, placing timing in anything, or I would strongly deplore the fact that this is being taken as weakening India's position vis-a-vis -vis China or strengthening China's position in any way. Um, the minister basically had an interview in which he made certain statements which were deplorable. I think words have meaning uh, everywhere and everything that he speaks has meaning. So at a time like that, I could very well question, why would you call China a bigger economy and India a bigger economy? We know that that may be a fact. But in the context of what he said, the context in which he said it, I think is highly deplorable. And, and, and to show that, that immediately has an effect on the morale of the troops. I, I think that is the case. That's number one. Secondly, I would like to say that uh, Mr. Subramanian, his father, has been a personal hero of mine for a very long time, and I appreciate the mm. uh, defense-minded thinking that he brought to the table. But I want to say this, that a, every government at every time has a certain set of measured responses to a situation. Now, there was something about infrastructure and the number of troops that are the highest in India's history. That's a response to a situation currently. How did that situation be allowed to develop? That would be the first question. Second of all, it's not as if the Congress, uh, for all its faults, and there are many faults, has not uh, been proactive or aggressive as in raising up mountain divisions, as in building infrastructure. And 62 was a disaster. It was presided over in the Congress. I'm the first person to say that, but we had 71. So I think if you contextualize everything, I think we are well within our rights to question okay. the minister. No, there's no question. There's no question of being well within your rights to question them. Absolutely. There's no, I don't think anyone is questioning them, not even the BJP. But I, I just wanted to say that there is a context to what is being said. And one would have possibly hoped from an apolitical standpoint of a certain degree of continuity as far as uh, you know, China is concerned, and not so much of the tutu meme that has kind of grabbed, uh, you know, a lion's share of the conversation between the two big parties of this country. Aparijita Sarangi, uh, it looks like the Congress, uh, you know, has engaged on this interview. Uh, you know, uh, many substantive things have been said, but I am looking at it as then the Congress also being triggered because the external affairs minister particularly, you know, singled out Rahul Gandhi for an attack, saying that, uh, you know, his words on the LAC, uh, you know, if he has something better to say, then I'm willing to listen. He said that, obviously, in a sarcastic way. And that appears to have triggered this kind of response from the Congress party. A very good evening. Pursuant to the remarks made by our external affairs minister, Sri Jay Shankarji, yesterday, all the Congress people have been giving their viewpoints. Gabby, dyslexic and arrogant. I think these are the words that characterize the responses of all these Congress people. It's very unfortunate that they're not listening or rather not trusting the words of the external affairs minister. Now here is, a, here is an external affairs minister who has spoken to us with facts and figures. He gives dates and years. Now, as far as our relationship is with China is concerned, I can only say three Ds. Dialogue, diplomacy and development. See, let's not get into war of words. I can only tell the Congress people, request them rather, to listen to the words of External Affairs Minister and trust his words. Now, when we talk of dialogue and diplomacy, let me tell you, we are very firm in our approach towards China. We know what we are doing and we walk the talk. Now, as far as our strategy is concerned, I'm sure there is a word called development. We are focusing on the development of the border areas. I'm reminded of 
the time when Mr. A.K. Antony was the defense minister. And, you know, I mean, you, you, you flip through the pages of the proceedings of the parliament. Uh, in the parliament, Mr. Antony has said, best defense is not to develop the border. That was the mindset of the Congress people when they were in power. Now here is the government under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi who is focusing on the development of these areas and I have facts and figures. Tathya aur Tark ke saath baat karne ke liye baiti hu. 2100 kilometers of roads have been constructed in the border areas along China with the an expenditure of about 15,477 crore. I think this has to be remembered. And I tell you, on 9th December 2022, we may recall, there was a scuffle between the Chinese and the Indian soldiers. And you know why was this scuffle? The scuffle was because we had been constructing roads and uh, uh, bridges and that actually do not go down well with the okay. Chinese soldiers, obviously it would not, and that is why they kind of resisted. Which now, there is a heavy deployment, as has been told by Mr. Jay Shankar, you know, in the, in the, in the very high altitudes in eastern Ladakh. There was a time okay. when only 10,000 soldiers could be put there. Now we actually increased our efficiency and we have put there 22,000 soldiers. We are also okay. enhancing your, capacity your point further, is taken. Your so point that we is have 35,000 soldiers to come in here for so we are a moment taking to all say steps and work wanted... is in progress.